From Cohen, Michigan, the magic capital of the world, it's Sterlini's Magical Mayhem. Enter laugh track. Enter, nah. enter. Hey, this thing's not working. <laughs> Hey, can you queue, queue up it the does. title graphics? It's not just me being silly. Yeah. Eric! Come on, friend. What's up, Eric? <laughs> Chef Hernandez! Oh, my God. Yes, my child. <laughs> Those are the best. Eric wants to buy some stuff tonight, John, so you better figure it out. I gotta find some stuff to sell. <laughs> Not those. Yeah, that? we're keeping these. Or these. Doug oh, Edwards yeah, watching. What's up? Timothy Rada. Santa. Yay! What's up, Jeff? I like the mustache. No difference, right? That's like about 10 years. I must ask <laughs> you a question. Oh, boy. Randall. That before the rhinoplasty? Okay. It, that totally does look like a skull. We could draw some teeth on there. <laughs> yeah, those smell good, don't they? Yeah, awesome. No, no, no. Hey guys, what's happening? John Sterlini, we're here live in Cola, Michigan, the magic capital of the world. <laughs> <laughs> what's happening? So we have all kinds of fun stuff today. Um, what? You can't see. Those are awesome. Huh? Where, there you go. What the heck? You know, the funny thing, Carl's like, nose looks the same with or without, so I don't know. Anyway. So that's what John would look like with a mustache. Yeah, exactly. I, I like the little handles here. This is awesome. So um, we're going to do something a little different tonight. We're going to show you a bunch of novelty. So we found a whole bunch of uh, atoms and other odds and ends that we've had in our collection, and we thought we would share them with you guys tonight. Um, several things that you guys have seen before, but I'm sure many that you have not. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. And I have a feeling that there might be a couple of little surprises among <coughs> some of the little surprises here. Oh. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. I do know I'm not touching anything, though. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, uh, what should we start off with, Jay? Whatever you like, sir. Okay. Start with the Monica Lewinsky deposition footnote number eight. All right. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's a big old monster. I don't. Just roll paper. I was wondering if you could actually stick a cigarette in there and blow. But no. That's what I thought at first too. But I, it's all paper. I think you'd burn it. Yeah, probably not. So pretty cool. Awesome clown prop though. Um, okay, this is one. Uh, eventually, we are going to sell these. I don't know if we're going to list them on our site or what we're going to do exactly. But uh, this is one item that we won't be selling. This is called the Cop Collar. It's the coolest thing that was in this whole lot. Yeah, uh, we're pretty thrilled with this. Directions. Hand to Jay to read. Attach either end of the wire, attach either end of wire at end of protector to spark plug cap and ground the other. Wire attached to spark plug should be free from touching any other sort part of motor. Important, see that you have perfect spark and ground connection. It's a bomb you attach to a car or a tractor. They used to sell these, that like would... in prank stores. Yeah. So I think we need to take this out to Stickley Family Farms and oh, wow. borrow one of his tractors. No, I think we need to do it oh, right sorry. up here in town. You, you could have said something, Kurt. <laughs> yeah, that's not a firecracker size uh, novelty. Yeah, I just want to know how loud it is. I think we might be finding out sometime soon. Anyway, thought that was kind of fun. Uh, what else do we have? There's a few uh, items that you guys have seen before. Drawer box. This is your typical, you know, uh, Royal Magic drawer box. Um, again, I think this uh, this box is from like the mid-late 60s. Um, <laughs> 
You guys probably know what this is. Paris, uh, what is that? Paris View? Views? Yeah. Views of Paris. So, this is the novelty that you put up against your eye and, you know, it has the black uh, chalk, whatever. Jay, and even though he knew exactly what this was, still attempted it and put it up to his eye to see. And I didn't know what it was. Seriously? No, I, well, after I did it the first time and I looked at it, I realized what it was. Okay. But when I did it... The, but it didn't leave. I didn't. You have to do it pretty hard. For it to leave. Oh, okay. So cool stuff. Uh, birthday candles. You guys have. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, they're just candles. Uh, so these are the candles that you light and whatever. They don't blow out. So uh, yeah, fun stuff. <laughs> hocus pocus. Okay, I'm waiting for like anything that I open to like explode or something I lift up. So, um, this is the this was made in Germany. One of them is damaged. The other one's in really good condition. Uh, this is a vanishing coin. It has little black um, black paper. You put the coin down and disappears. Oh, how cool is that? So we have a couple of those. Um, spoons, you guys have probably seen these before. These are actually a lot of fun. This is a teaspoon. I don't know if you can see it on the, uh, the camera, but there's a celluloid plastic of some sort covering. So reach into your, you know, scoop out sugar. Won't scoop anything out. Ken um, said he used one of those cop collars on a 68 Camaro. Lots of fun. Smoke and whistling. Smoke and whistling. Yeah. So it doesn't explode. It just... So it makes smoke and noise. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um, yeah, this is a, a melting teaspoon. Put that, put it in a cup of coffee, whatever. Um, this is for, um, well, yeah, it doesn't pick up anything, obviously. Uh, a knife that you try to cut and it just bends. And also a bending fork. So some cool stuff. Uh, penny through. This is a neat... Uh, penny through a nail. So you, uh, obviously you load a penny, there's I believe a recess in there, and as you drop one through it passes through the nail. You can hand it out to examine. Uh, this is kind of neat for the simple fact of it looks like right. it looks like the mouse actually chewed the box. They should come like that. So yeah, wonder mouse. What else did we find here, Mr. J? All kinds of stuff. This is kind of cool. The whiskeys? Yeah. Didn't have a string with it, but kind of fun. This, I, do you know what exactly is this supposed it's, to be like a makeup no idea. container of some sort? Oh, uh, mother son of God. So the bingo, it's supposed to explode. But this was not one that is. Ooh, and that was, was a dud anyway. Mm, perfect. I think you let it go too slow. Yeah, that could be. Well, anyway, this is a uh, another bang device. So as you pull this out, yeah, is this supposed to be like... Yeah, it's like a makeup kit or a wallet or something. So, anyway. These are the type of caps that go in that one. And we actually found a box of the caps. These are pretty loud, too. I set a couple of these off. Yes. This was cool. Award for best performance. In the smallest container they could possibly find. Well, it's a tiny award. And what is it? awesome uh, what else do we have oh the uh, Adams salted mixed nut can okay. I wouldn't know if that if I were you uh, there's not. a snake inside of it okay yeah I'm going to leave it right there uh, magic coin box you guys have seen these actually we we saw <laughs> 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 finally at least one of them we've sold a couple of these uh I love the matchbox on this. I thought it was wood initially, um, but it's like a heavy. Actually, that is like a thin. Yeah, it's it like seems a thin like it veneer. is. Yeah, um, one that came apart, and I'm pretty sure it was. It seemed like little pieces of wood. So, 
And uh, this is similar to the gimmick we sold, I think, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, the one we sold a couple weeks ago had the little metal box that went inside of it. I don't know if that was original or not. The ones I've seen online, I didn't see that little metal pill looking like box. So, you know what's funny? Like, tricks like this you kind of take for granted as, you know, it's some beginner, whatever. But it's a fooler. But it's actually, yeah, I mean, if you present it well, it's still a really cool trick. So, Magic Coin Box. Um, this was kind of neat, and I, I believe we've sold a couple of them. This is basically a paper drawer box. Um, and some damage to it, but uh, I like the artwork on that. But, yeah, a, a paper drawer box. Uh, these, this That's is really, really cool. cool. The squirting Swan, and it is in, like, perfect condition. So you put bubbles, water, whatever you blow in, and it... It looks splits. like you put cocaine in there. It does look a little dusty, it, doesn't it? It looks like a, a pipe you would use well, okay. for drugs. I would not want to have that in my car if I got pulled over. I'm just saying. But... Look how dainty it looks. It is a funny dagger. But anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, it has the original instructions box, great condition. And the Hindu beads, I thought this was. Oh, cool. Cool too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one has. That was really hard to get that in there. No. Uh, <laughs> I had like two of them go off on me doing that. So this one has uh, instructions. And I like this just because the size of the beads. How cool is that? So most of them are, you know, maybe a third of the size. <laughs> That's what uh, I'm talking about. Cool set. So, you know, we've actually wanted to ship out some of the snappers and like your big boxes of fun. We thought, how fun would that be to just That's make sure they wouldn't go off until you actually open it. But... I could see UPS like finding them and then I yeah. lose my account with them and then we'll never be able to ship out anything. So anyway, sorry guys. <laughs> uh, voice tester. This is really cool. I've had a couple of these. Um, one of them was in rough shape and I'm like, I, I didn't know. I, I thought it was like some sort of novelty, what I whatever. I, I mean like, oh, you talk into it and it changes your voice. So, but uh, what it is, you push the button. This one is not working. When you push a button, there's a pin that pokes up through. So it's like, oh, let's try and talk, and then push a push a button, and it pokes your your thumb. So um, single use because you get blood on the box. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's treated. Needle. I think you could I think you could uh, just clean it up pretty easily. Bango shooting mechanisms, as you guys know, this is uh, you guys yeah, know just, how those work. Yeah, we're just like kids, so. How cool are these? But there is another version here that's... Oh, that's sealed up. Can't open it. Another version that is really fun. So, be one of the one of the guys. Uh, check this out. You can actually load... It's not a cap, one of the paper ones. So, you can always have one on hand. How cool is that? So, all you got to do is go pop. So, if you want to make an explosion happen. So... That's legit. We need to make a, a newer, nicer one of those. Yeah. Um, this is neat. Uh, remember a uh, Trix cereal? This is the uh, Trix. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. The Safety Club Trix. Uh, what is that? The rabbit's name? Trix? Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't know what the rabbit's name is, but. But anyway, this was a mail-in um, promotion for Trix cereal, and we have a few of them that are still sealed. But it's the, uh, yeah, the Trick Safety Club. I have no idea uh, when that was uh, a thing. But anyway, kind of neat. Uh, glass suspension, another Adams piece in really nice condition. And um, what else do we have here, Jay? Oh. Yeah, you were excited. You always get excited when we find those. A tumble bug. This was put out by Abbott's. Uh, any idea a year, Kurt? Mickey? It was the 40s. So... Kind of a, a neat piece. Basically, the it'll roll over or not, depending on if you have the gimmick in place or not. And it's kind of cool to actually have the gimmick uh, for it. And just like this piece, this is a nice bottle with the gimmick and the little cork. And it's nicely made in wood. How cool is that? These are cool, too. The Mystic Plugs. 
So it's like a rattle. You get the one flesh colored one that actually rattles and then three that don't. So it's a rattle Monty essentially. So sort of like a shell game with, is, are those like cups or? No, they're just plugs. Like one of them rattles, the other two don't, but really oh. none of them kind of like David's squeakers or a so sponge ball. You palm the one? Yeah, the bra- that's what the it looks. I don't think flush. there's any instruction. oh, instructions. Oh, instructions are in there. Yeah. Oh, I don't know the instructions. We never read. Instructions. Yeah, you palm you palm the one, and then so if you guys were at the stand up convention we just did, it's just like the SpongeBob Monty that. Yeah, that David McCreary did a, a SpongeBob routine with uh, squeakers, and uh, God, he's funny. Funny <laughs> routine, but. Uh, not to get into too much detail, but I mean, even a table is like, yeah, this is a special fifteen hundred dollar table. The squeakers are built in here, 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 and uh, just yeah, funny stuff, funny stuff. Um, this is cool, uh, and Jay, maybe you can help. <laughs> What's wrong, John? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> just open it. It doesn't work when you do it that way. Uh, okay, well, I think it just might have been a dud. Uh, a puzzle book. And here are the puzzles. So there's little envelopes with puzzles that you can pull out. Some of them were... Um, I think that's the only one that was taken apart. All the other ones are together, I believe. They're still all in the cardboard. So, kind of cool. Um, remember what year this is from? I do not. I don't know if we ever saw so one. It's old. It's old. So, anyway, um, yeah, so those are some of the novelties we're playing with. I know we have a bunch more here and there, but uh, probably going to put these on eBay or on our site. I don't know, figure out something fun to do with them. What is that but, paper stuff? <laughs> GJ, what is that? Uh, Seriously, what is it? Uh, I think this is just for um, making copies. It's like tracing paper. I don't know. Extra sheets, but it's magic, so it's got to be cool. Because everybody loves magic! <laughs> it's like the Muppet Show. Oh, boy. So, anyway, well, those are the uh, the items for this evening, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed checking out some, some vintage novelties from the 50s, 40s, Early 1900s. I don't and know. the explosions. Yeah. And the explosions, explosions are good. That's... So what else we have going on? Uh, tomorrow night will be uh, Treasures with Tam. I Yay! think we're going to do a special Abbott's edition. We're oh, doing all fun. Abbott's products. So we have a couple of cool Ooh. items to share with you. And uh, next week, Tamara and I will be on the road. So we're going to do, I know Tuesday night, we'll do a Tuesday Treasures from... Uh, on the road. Uh, from Graceland, from Tennessee. So, Treasures, yeah. from Tennessee. Treasures, Treasures from Tennessee. Treasures, Treasures for uh, we gotta come up with something. Clever. Trail. So, um, what? The trail. From the trail. Yeah. Treasures from the trail. Cool. So yeah, we'll have have some fun stuff to share with you then. Uh, so Tuesday night, uh, Wednesday night, Jay's books. book deal. Books, books, books. And we have actually a collection coming in soon of all kinds of. Oh yeah, and uh, yeah, there'll all be a books, bunch of yeah. fresh new stuff. So. Probably Actually, not new. Next week or within the next couple of weeks, we'll get those out. And uh, okay, yeah, deals of the day. Randall says, "Okay, can we move to the buying part now?" <laughs> to the buying part. What do you want to buy, Randall? Just let us know. Just give us your credit card. We'll we'll fill in the blanks. So. Oh, you didn't show him this. Oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that's that is, exactly what this does um i actually i tested this too it works really well yeah it is works, this works well. um does anyone know who manufactured this i know warren stevens put out a version i think this is prior to his but this is basically a flash pot are you familiar with i think it's called bang poof Bang poof. oh okay um yeah. so you have a cap here and like Jay said, this does work. This locks the uh, locks it in place. <laughs> oh, can you fix one of the caps in there? And it does shoot. Huh? 
It does actually shoot a uh, little bit of a flame into the cap and put black powder, whatever flash powder. I in would there. think, yeah, just flash paper would probably work. So you set it like that. <laughs> and then I think you want to actually set that over it to set the trigger all the way back. Yeah. But if you watch inside, you can actually see the sparks shoot into the. Assuming the cap works. Yeah. Oh. The bango didn't work. It's. <laughs> so, a very primitive uh, flash pot, but it works. <sighs> I love the smell of gunpowder. It smells like magic. Oh my so, God. It smells like fiery magic. Fun stuff. Anyway, well, thank you for tuning in, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, once again looking at some vintage novelties with us. So tune in tomorrow with uh, Jay's deal of the day. I'm, Randall is upset. He's upset. He wants to buy stuff. Mm. Okay. Well, tune in tomorrow morning, Randall. We'll have all kinds of fun stuff for you. So on behalf of the gang, have a great night. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a good night. Did I miss any uh, little snappers anywhere? As all the magicians went away to their weary little beds, the Sturtlini Magical Empire turns out the lights and ends the evening. Good night to all. <laughs>